Assalamu alaikum dear students I hope you all are fine and doing great welcome to another lecture of English B so today's topic is preposition so we are learning about the preposition here is the definition a preposition is a word that shows how a noun or a pronoun is related to another part of the sentence so basically it means that it shows how what is the relation of noun or pronoun with the other parts of the sentence and it also completes the sense of the sentence here is an example the boat floated towards the shore here the word towards is a preposition and uh, towards what towards the shore shore is also the object the object of the preposition this noun or pronoun called the object of the preposition the other few examples are the book is on the table here on is the preposition and table is the object of the preposition peter jumped into the river into is the preposition and river is the object of the preposition lela lives across the road across the preposition and road object we have a surprise for you for preposition you object Commonly used prepositions include under, across, in, over, from, below, beside, at, for, of, through, by, with, into, and on. So here is the activity part A. Fill in the blanks with suitable preposition. There are sentences given to us, and we have to put the suitable preposition in every blank. First sentence is there is a very funny scene. Dash the middle of the film in the middle of the film. We were all tired dash our long walk after our long walk the train is expected to be in time today that house was struck by lightning last year so i have done these sentences for you you can do these by your own general tips on preposition usage with words that convey an idea of checking or stopping we usually use the preposition from check from prevent from discourage from stop from with words that show habit we usually use to used to addicted to accustomed to with words that show fame we use for not known for famous for with words of surprise we use at surprised at shocked at amazed at astonished at with words that show pride or certainty we use usually use of proud of certain of confident of jealous of in is used for geographical places states countries cities etc on is used for the names of roads at is used for specific addresses the bus stop the cinema the post office etc shakila lives on m a jna road in karachi My mother is waiting for me at the post office on I I Chandigarh Road. We live at D three zero five P E C H S in Karachi. So as you see, there are addresses uh, given in these sentences, and we use on for at preposition in these sentences. My house is in this colony at the corner of the road. At is the preposition. in is used for time periods months years seasons on is used for days of the week and specific dates at is used for specific times the test will be held on the first monday in september the last total solar eclipse of the 20th century was on 11th august 1999 the train leaves at 5:30 pm on weekends moin does his homework in the afternoon in is a preposition plays in the evening in is also the preposition and sleeps early at night at is also the preposition television reached most parts of pakistan in 80s with certain phrases we do not use in at or on next month and last day The rehearsal started last month. We do not use preposition here. There will be a revision test next week. In these examples, we do not use preposition. I saw Mrs. Maroof last Sunday. We meet my grandparents every year. Since is used to indicate a period from a particular date or time to the present. 
फोर इज यूज वन द लेंथ ऑफ द टाइम इज गिवन वी मे नॉट नो वेन द इवेंट अकर वी आर अनश्योर अबाउट द एग्जैक्ट डेट और एग्जैक्ट मोमेंट वेन द इंसिडेंट इज हैपनिंग ड्यूरिंग इज यूज वेन समथिंग हैपन्स एट द सेम टाइम ऑन समथिंग एल्स और इफ समथिंग हैपन्स एट सेम सम टाइम विद इन अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम पीरियड Roshan was in hospital for 10 days. Mr. Daud has been unemployed for 5 months. Mr. Daud has been unemployed since last December. We are sure about it that's why we use since. I have eaten nothing since breakfast. Anila and Sana were giggling during the lecture. The puppies have really grown during the last month. so these are some general tips according to which we use the following prepositions in the following sentences there are many examples you can read it by your own also moving towards part b filling the blanks with in on at or with to for or about you can use a preposition or more than once rizvi lives at 24 nanak gali in the chandni chowk area of lahore he is very fond of eating chaat he goes to the snack stalls every evening to eat chaat so i have done this activity for you you can do this by your own moving towards preposition or adverb difference this is the main difference which is written in this box remember some words can be used as either prepositions or adverbs so there are few words which we can use for both um functions as preposition or adverb to distinguish one from the other remember the prepositions have an object it is must that preposition have an object adverb purely qualify a verb an adjective or another adverb they do not have a noun or pronoun as object go inside the house immediately inside is the preposition here and the house is the object of preposition as we have read earlier so uh its object the house go inside immediately so as you see in this sentence uh, there is no object so students inside in this sentence is functioning as an adverb the bus drove through the forest so here through is the preposition and the forest is the object of preposition the bus drove through an hour ago so there is no object so it is working as an adverb in this sentence go and play outside the house house is an object of preposition so outside will be the preposition go outside and play there is no object that's why it is functioning as an adverb here moving towards part c set up the prepositions in these sentences and underline their objects some sentences may not have a preposition so in the first sentence mrs azad is not in the habit of gossiping about her neighbors in is the preposition habit is the object of preposition here of is preposition here gossiping is used as the object of preposition here the it is functioning as a noun then about preposition neighbors object of preposition the book i am reading belongs to my cousin to preposition cousin object of preposition we have already spent too much time talking about this unpleasant subject about preposition unpleasant subject object of preposition we have a wonderful view of the sea from the windows of our hotel room of preposition see object of preposition from preposition windows object of preposition of preposition and our hotel room is also the object of preposition so in the next sentence there is no preposition here down is using as an adverb because there is no object and we have read it over here i have done the other sentences for you you can do these by your own so students this is your lecture for today 
we'll meet in some other class uh, with another interesting topic. Till then, take care and Allah Hafiz.